You guys ever had your gun caked in mud as you were running around at the field and just got it absolutely hammered? You guys want to know the easiest way to clean it is? Simple. Take your gun, throw it in the trash, and buy yourself a new one. What's up guys? It's Dave from Airsoft GI and last weekend we had Shoot Dave Day at D14 Airsoft and it was an absolute blast of a time. I surprisingly didn't get shot quite as much as I thought I was going to. And everybody got free gift cards. We had a blast getting to go out and play with all you guys, take some awesome photos. It was a great time. However, I did have one small mishap. I took a spill in the mud and uh, my Elite Force Glock suffered for it. So we thought, what better opportunity to teach you guys about how to clean your weapons, your airsoft guns, uh, than right now while well, I've got it caked in all kinds of nastiness. So you're gonna need a couple of things. One, obviously, you're gonna need your airsoft gun. In this case, it's gonna be my disgusting looking Elite Force Glock right now. You're gonna need some shop towels or paper towels. Uh, we prefer the shop towels are a little bit more absorbent and they don't leave all the, the nasty gunk that like uh, your traditional like white paper towels will leave on there. And the last thing is what we use to clean almost everything up here at GI. It is a CRC QD electronic cleaner. You can find it in the auto department at Walmart. It's a pretty common stuff. It's about $4 a can. We use it for everything from cleaning gearboxes, cleaning inner barrels, cleaning airsoft guns. It's great on all kinds of stuff. Also great for cleaning the electronics in your car since that's what it's made for. Uh, anyway, let's uh, take a deeper look and see what we're working with. So here we've got the Elite Force Glock. As you can see, it's got a ton of mud on it. Now we've already started by removing some of the larger flecks of mud off of the thing. Get rid of those, you don't need those. And the second thing we're gonna do is remove the magazine and make sure that the pistol is clear. Now we've already cleared this before we shot, so we know that it's clear, but you should check that anyway. Good gun safety, guys. And it's a pretty straightforward process, right? There's a couple things you need to do ahead of time though, and that's disassemble the pistol. Uh, you want to make sure you can kind of remove as many of the functional components as possible. You don't take it all the way apart, but we're going to remove the recoil spring, the barrel assembly, and then if you want, I'm just going to be a little careful about it, but you should probably remove your blowback housing if you are not comfortable with the spray. Um, thankfully, I'm pretty experienced with it, so I'm pretty used to what we're going to get into here. But the problem with CRC QD cleaner is that it will clean and dry out all of your O-rings. Uh, it won't crack them and break them like traditional gun cleaners will, but what you want to watch out for is drying them out and causing any kind of like performance loss issues. So in your lower frame, pretty much good as is in my case, because we're just going to wipe down lightly this top part and all the spray is going to come down here. So you just need to be careful about where we're spraying the spray and what all we're getting into. But if you wanted to be really, really, really anal retentive about it, you could actually pull out your trigger mechanism and all your other parts in here too. Uh, the more things that you can remove that you don't want to get the CRC on, the better. So we're going to set this guy and this guy aside for right now, and then we'll get into cleaning. So today we're gonna start with the slide, and what we're gonna do is give the CRC a really good shake and just kind of lightly spray it. And you kind of see the effect that that has on the frame. You start lightly rubbing everything off. Now for the lower frame, what we're going to do is the same thing we did with the slide, except that we're gonna do it a little differently up top. Instead, we're going to spray the CRC directly onto the shop towel and then uh, wipe it from there. And then for the lower frame, just to keep it away from all the internal parts, we'll spray directly onto the frame itself. So now that we've got everything cleaned off, at least to my satisfaction, you can go deeper if you want. We're gonna go ahead and reinstall the barrel, reinstall the recoil spring, and fit everything back onto the frame. There you go, everything's all set. So as you can see, pistol's a lot cleaner. Everything from the mud is mostly caked off. Everything that's on there now is pretty superficial and isn't gonna cause any issues with function. I'm not gonna have to worry about getting mud all over myself later from a previous day of play. Uh, the only thing that's really left now is that CRC does still get into some places you don't want it to. It does tend to make the pistol a little dry. So you are gonna wanna go back through and re-lubricate it as normal. We'll cover that in a separate video. Uh, but everything's good to go from now. So now I'm not caked in mud. I'm gonna do the same thing to my holster because that's also covered. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.